Greetings, this is Amy Wentley with Chai Knuckles Knitting, and this is episode 2018-12, the Sommel Cardigan, Measuring and Calculating Gauge. I'm currently teaching a class at the Hillsborough Yarn Shop on the Sommel Cardigan. That's a pattern by Hohe Locatelli. And I ask my students to knit a swatch in sand stitch. I ask them to cast on 30 stitches and knit 40 rows in sand stitch. A description of sand stitch can be found in video... Um, 2018-11, if you'd like to look at that. Uh, so this is our gauge swatch, 30 stitches cast on, 40 rows done in sand stitch. <clears throat> in order to start measuring and calculating gauge, I ask my students to weave a fingering weight yarn across the top and the bottom and the left and right sides of the swatch. That Those are going to be used as measuring guides. And so I've already done one on the left and one on the bottom. There's the bottom. And now I'm going to do one across the top. <clears throat> you want to make sure you leave a lot of, of yarn visible because that's going to be your measuring guide. And it's best to go ahead and locate a line of purl stitches across the top and then weave your yarn in at those purl stitches so that you keep a straight line. The purl stitches that I'm choosing here are about two stitches down from the top across the whole swatch here. So I'll go ahead and do that for you. And then I will do the right hand side. So there we go. And one more. Two stitches down from the top. Okay. So that's my top. And I'm going to do my right hand side one and that one is really pretty nice and easy because you just follow a column of pearl stitches up the one side of the swatch and you are in business. <clears throat> Excuse me while I thread my needle. There we go. Okay, and now I'm going to take my yarn up a column of purl stitches on the right hand side. So here you go. <clears throat> After I get that yarn in, then I am going to go ahead and I am going to measure. I want to make sure first that everything's straight. And it looks like it is, so that's good. When you measure, um, I like to use a, an opaque ruler. I don't like to be able to see through it. Um, I always do a swatch that's much bigger than what the pattern calls for. In this case, it calls for a four inch by four inch swatch, and this is actually bigger than that. <clears throat> um, my, I, a note to my students, whoever's watching, um, if you want to send me a picture of your swatch, so that I can give you a second set of eyes on determining your gauge. Please lay your ruler on the middle of the swatch, um, lay it in a straight line, and take a photo of it. And then I'll be able to read the ruler and the markings. <clears throat> so I'm going to measure in this case, and notice my ruler's not big enough, so I'm going to mark my five here. That's five inches. And then I have a bit left over on the edge here. And that will be... It ends up being five and five eighths inches. One, two, three, four, five. Five and five eighths inches. <clears throat> if I get out my handy calculator, five eighths inches, five divided by eight, is 0.625. So I'm going to write on my sheet here five. 0.625 inches. That's how much I measured. So then what I want to do is count the stitches between the left side and the right side. <clears throat> and the best way to do this is to follow the purl stitches. Um, there will be purl stitches that will make a little triangle here actually. So I go up between rows and just kind of count across because I know that there are alternating purl stitches across here. So I'm going to start at a purl stitch, and I am going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. <clears throat> so I counted 30 stitches. The calculation that we want to get is stitches per inch. So that's stitches, value B here, divided by A inches, stitches per inch, is going to give us that amount. So I'm going to divide 30 stitches, <clears throat> divided by 5.625, and that equals 5.33 stitches per one inch. <clears throat> the pattern gauge calls for stitches per four inch, so I'm going to take that value, 5.33, and I'm going to multiply it by four, and I come up with 21.3 stitches per inch. <clears throat> per four inches, I'm sorry, 21.3 stitches per four inches. The pattern calls for 20.5 stitches per four inches. So I'm just writing this over here for reference for you. There you go. <clears throat> then I'm going to measure from the top to the bottom. And I have here, it looks like, and do it, do it towards the middle. And I measure up a straight column. <clears throat> Again, if you were going to send me a picture of your ruler on your swatch, please um, have it in the middle of the swatch. Please have it on a straight column of stitches. And so here I have 4.25 inches. And then I need to count the rows from the top to the bottom. And so I will start here. <clears throat> and what happens is you're going to have a purl stitch every four stitches. So this ends up being a knit stitch and then a purl stitch. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty two, thirty three, thirty four, 35, 36. So I have 36 rows in four and a half inches. <clears throat> so I want to get rows per inch, so I'm going to divide again. I'm going to divide 36 rows divided by 4.25 inches. Whoops. <laughs> 36 rows divided by 4.25 inches. It's 8.47 rows per inch. I'm, I'm sorry if I said stitches. These are rows. <clears throat> 36 rows by 4.25 inches. And that gives us 8.47 rows per one inch. The pattern calls for a calculation for four inches, so I'm going to multiply that by four, and I get 33.8 rows per four inches. <clears throat> And the pattern actually calls for 33 rows per inch. So looking at these calculations, what I see is that I am getting more stitches per 4 inches than the pattern calls for. I'm also getting more rows per inch than the pattern calls for. This is closer to 34 rows per inch, and the pattern calls for 33. <clears throat> so, I'm going to focus primarily on the stitches per inch, and that is, um, I'm getting more stitches per inch. I want to get less stitches per inch. The way I get less stitches per inch is to make my stitches bigger, and that means less will fit in an inch, or less will fit in four inches. So, for instance... If you have <clears throat> an inch here, and I right now am getting about five and a third stitches per inch. 
if I want to get less stitches per inch in there, which is what I want, I want to get um, closer to the pattern gauge. If I want less, they have to be bigger to fit in the same space. So if I have <clears throat> more stitches to the inch than the pattern gauge, then I need to have less stitches to the inch to meet the pattern gauge. So I need to use larger needles to get the gauge. If you have less stitches to the inch than the pattern gauge, then you need to have more stitches to the inch to meet the pattern gauge. And that means you need smaller needles to get that gauge to fit more smaller stitches in that area. So that is the video on how to measure and calculate gauge for the Sommel cardigan. And there will be more videos to come. Thank you for being here, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.